Namaste everybody, welcome to meditation with me, hope you are well. If you don't know me, my name is Amit and I'll be guiding you through 15-20 minutes of combination of some breath work, some mindfulness, some meditation and some reflections, some contempl something to contemplate on and just uh, helping us appreciate how this mantra meditation is such a wonderful process and there's so many ways that this, uh, this process uh, can be beneficial in our life. So let's get started. Make yourself comfortable if you aren't already and just keeping your eyes gently closed. And we'll take a moment to do a nice long deep breath. We inhale and we exhale. Always nice practicing this meditation in the park. Just hearing some nature sounds, very calming, very peaceful. Continuing to breathe. It's just to help us be grounded. Helps us to be more present for this session. We inhale, we exhale. Now we'll just practice some deep breath work or deep breathing. So I'd like you to bring one of your palms on your navel, on top of your navel and one just below your collarbone on your chest and this palms is just a guide to notice how the how the breathing is is impacting the movement of our abdomen our chest upper chest shoulders and we use this to make the right movements you know gait get the air into the right areas, so to speak. So as you inhale, you may notice your abdomen expands and you exhale. So we inhale, drawing that air to that abdomen, to the lower region of the lungs and exhaling, your abdomen falls back to its neutral position. Inhaling one more time, abdomen expands and exhaling, neutral position. Now we'll inhale into the abdomen, let the air rise up to the middle region, your upper chest expands and you exhale from the upper chest, middle region, finally your abdomen falls back. Just like filling a glass with water, you fill from bottom to top and you empty it from top to bottom. Then you breathe, filling up the lower region of the lungs, middle region, your upper chest, upper region. Exhale from the upper region, middle region and finally your abdomen. Very nice breath. It's called complete yoga breath. And it helps us to be ready for our meditation. This is a very nice mindfulness practice. Helps us to be more present, more mindful, more aware of what's happening. More, it helps our mind to, for us to tell the mind, okay, let's put our, put our thoughts behind and now we'll focus on the present and this meditation practice. So now we'll tell our mind to focus on a mantra or meditate on a mantra. That's why we call it mantra meditation. We're meditating on the sacred sounds, mantras, and automatically you don't have to worry about trying to quieten the mind. You're just gently resting the mind in this transcendental sound, spiritual sound. So the mantra we'll be using is Goranga and we'll add it with our breath work. 
So every inhale, we say the mantra, Go Ra Angra, in our mind. And as we exhale, we say the mantra out loud throughout the entire length of our breath. So we'll take a couple of breaths together, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling one more time, exhaling, this time we add the mantra, we inhale, adding the mantra in the mind. Exhale out loud. We'll continue this practice for some time. Resting your mind and heart in this mantra. It's very nice. So this is a taste of mantra meditation using our breath. That's what meditation means. You know, the meditation word is a neutral word. You know, when I say oh, I'm doing meditation, it doesn't necessarily mean it is constructive. It is helpful. You know, for example, I can be. Um, I'm at work and when I'm doing some big events or some, some um, time pressing important work, you are actually meditating on that work, so to speak. You're always thinking about it, it's consuming you, you know, and you know it is not really helpful for your well-being. I mean, it's nice in terms of productivity, you get the job done, but when we're talking about meditation, we are meaning something beyond your work, we are meaning something where you rest in to get away from your work, your responsibilities, to actually um, have like a sanctuary, you know, and so this is where the mantras or meditating on the mantras are important because when you're meditating on the mantras, you are actually in a inner sanctuary. You are in a spiritual sanctuary. You are resting your mind in these mantras. In fact, that's what the meaning of the word mantra is. Mantra is a Sanskrit word. means mana and tra. Man means mind and tra means to draw away. So mantra is the sound vibration that draws away your mind from all the responsibilities, challenges, pressures, hassles, and immerse it in something that is spiritual, transcendental, beyond this dimension. That's where you find rest, a lasting rest. So even if you take time five, ten minutes a day, or even five minutes for Goranga breathing, it's fantastic. 
If you have more time, let's practice this one, which is called beads meditation or japa meditation, where we use this meditation beads and add this mantra. And it's a very wonderful personal practice, you know. So if you don't have beads, then you can use your fingers. Uh, you can also use a counter. You can buy a clicker or a counter, whatever it's called. Or if you have the beads, just come to your studio sometime, buy them, and it's a very wonderful practice. So this is a japa mala. Um, mala means beads, and japa means softly residing or softly speaking. So in as its name says, softly speaking or residing these mantras. So how we do this is there is a head bead for this mala and just below the tassel and we say hurry bowl on this head bead and take a moment to offer our gratitude our respect to our spiritual teachers the supreme soul for for passing this meditation to us and on the bead next to the head bead we use our thumb and our middle finger to hold the beads again there's no hard and fast rule you can use whatever works for you and on each of the beads we say a mantra. So for today's practice we'll use the mantra Haribo, Nitaigo, Nitaigo, Haribo. So we'll say the mantra softly, Haribo, Nitaigo, Nitaigo, Haribo. Then we move to the next beat. We say the mantra again and then we move to the next beat and we continue until we finish one round. Now the beads I'm holding has 54 beads in them, uh, excluding the head bead. So we will do it 54 times. If you are holding your fingers, you can just use, you know, Haripo, Nitaiko, Nitaiko, Haripo, Haripo, Nitaiko, Nitaiko, and just continue that way. Very simple. Again, you can rest your fingers when you say the mantra on the bead, or you can move your fingers back and forth on the bead, whatever that helps. And um, yeah, focus is resting your mind on these mantras, you know, closing your eyes if you have to. Or if you're in a park like me, you can go for a walk and do japa, you know. And uh, that's very nice as well. So, let's give it a go. Haripo. Haripo, nitaiko, nitaiko, haripo. Haripo, nitaiko, nitaiko, haripo. Haripo, nitaiko, nitaiko, haripo. Haripo, nitaiko, nitaiko. Taiko Haripo ni Taiko ni Taiko Haripo Haripo ni Taiko ni Taiko Haripo Haripo ni Taiko Taiko Haripo Haripo ni Taiko ni 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 taiko hari 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 Haripo ni taiko ni taiko Haripo ni taiko ni taiko hari Haripo ni taiko hari Haripo ni taiko ni taiko hari Haripo ni taiko ni taiko hari Haripo ni taiko ni taiko hari 
Ani poni tai ko ni tai ko han. 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 Hari 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 poni tai ko ni tai ko hari po. Last one. Hari poni tai ko ni tai ko hari po. Hari po. So we finish on the head beat and say the mantra hari po again. So that's we completed one round of japa meditation. Now if you want to do more number of rounds, which again I recommend if you can add it to your life. When you finish on the head beat, you do not cross the head beat. You just go in the opposite direction again. You know. So let's say you started clockwise. When you went to reach the head beat, you go anti-clockwise and then clockwise. So we are not crossing the head beat. So simple practice. Again, with anything in life, adding it on a regular basis is where you'll actually experience the benefits. You know. And um, the final one, which obviously most of you perhaps know already, and it's a wonderful meditation practice, is called Kirtan meditation, where we add mantras with musical instruments, and we can sing in a group with our friends and our family, and have a nice time, very pleasurable experience. And again, it's, it's just as transformative powers of these mantras that you are allowing yourself to be in the proximity of and it just, it just transforms you, it calms, it purifies your mind, mind and heart, you know. We'll speak about that a bit more after this. So how Kirtan works, I think most of you know, one person leads or they sing or chant a mantra and then there's a group that listens, meditate on the mantra and sing as a group, respond as a group to the leader and then the leader listens and enjoys it and it's a very beautiful exchange of mantras now we are here live i can't hear you so i'll just sing and i'm hoping when i sing once and then i'll say your turn you sing um, as well in your house or wherever you are so we'll use the same uh, mantra haripo nitaiko taiko haripo we used
always nice you know that's I tell you a secret you know I just by doing it online because that's the beauty of this meditation you also experience the benefit so I pretty much do it for myself you know <laughs> part of it <laughs> I also enjoy or appreciate you know you all doing it with me so um, I'll finish with some nice um, text from the yoga literatures for you to contemplate on and um, it is a question about uh, our um, identity you know, our, the question the, the answer to the question who am I from a yoga perspective and by hearing this I'm hoping it will help us appreciate why these mantras are a key uh, component in our well-being journey, in this spiritual journey. So I'll read something. The yoga answer to the question, who am I, is that each of us, each person, is an eternal effulgent Atma, a part and parcel of the original cause, part of the absolute whole, this is our true identity. There's a quote to back it up, uh, as innumerable sparks emanate from a fire, so also the individual spirit souls, that is the Atma, with their particular characteristics emanate from the original cause that is from the literature Brihadar, Brihadaranyaka Upanishad <laughs> so, and I'll just continue a bit more um, from quotes from our spiritual teacher so who am I? according to yoga each of us is an eternal effulgent spirit soul an atma part and parcel of the original cause Authorized yoga sacred text and self-realized yoga spiritual masters conclude as follows. I am a life particle, an Atma. I, the Atma, am an effulgent, dazzling, infinitesimal ray of transcendental light emanating from the original cause. Just as an individual ray of sunshine emanates from the sun globe, I am not my physical body. I am not my mind, rather both my, mo my body and my mind are like garments that I, the Atma, the Spirit, am temporarily wearing. So to continue with this understanding, I'll just put this uh, paragraph for you. How we identify ourselves affects the most important aspects of our life. 
where we believe happiness can be found, how we define success, the nature of our relationships with others and so on. Therefore, from the yoga perspective, if we wish to be successful in true happiness and purpose in life, it is imperative that we discover our true identity. So, just to summarize this, um, we are not our body, we are not our mind, we are a spiritual being or a spark of life temporarily within our body and mind. In fact, this body and mind are possessions. So, understanding that we are not our, or we are understanding that we are a spiritual being, at the least, we at least need to add a spiritual practice in our life that way that is natural to you, to me, the spiritual being. And this mantra meditation is that spiritual practice that we can add to our life just as we did together. And the more you apply it on a regular basis, the more and more your spiritual nature shines through. And from there on, a door opens to a very different world, a new outlook, a new perspective, the way you see things, the way you approach things, the way you process information, relationships and so on. So I hope it was helpful as always. If we can assist in any way then feel free to um, give me that opportunity. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you at some of our offline programs. And until next time, Namaste, Haripo.